Look, Kara, I'm not discredited that you put yourself in a very bad position that led you to do what you did. But you have to work with me if you want to go home. He was a family friend. He had been around my sisters and I for as long as I can remember. I want to talk to my sisters. Can I please talk to them? Well, unfortunately I can't allow that because you already had your phone call. Has, uh, has Devin ever forced himself on one of your sisters? I don't know, but if he did, then I'm glad I killed him. Kara, I'm gonna need a full report. I need to know exactly what happened on the bluff last night, okay? Do you wanna spend the rest of your life in prison? I had a stupid crush on him since I was little. He was a little older than me, so I thought he would be a little more sophisticated than the guys my age. So I went on a date with him. And he was acting weird the entire night. And when it was time to take me home, he took me to the bluffs instead. And then he became aggressive because I told him I wasn't comfortable. He pushed himself on me and grabbed my neck. So I screamed and slapped him across the face and that, that uh, made things way worse. He, um, He drug me to the edge of the bluff by my hair and kept screaming, your family will just think that you fell. And that's when you pushed him? He was threatening to push me, to kill me. <sighs> that night I was scared for my life, okay? and I did whatever I thought I could to survive. And that was to do whatever he wanted. So I began to kiss him and he quickly softened. And before he could force himself on me again, I kicked him off that fucking bluff. And I would do it again if I had to. <sighs> 